Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm new here on YouTube so this is my first ever video. I'm a little bit nervous for it because I don't know what to expect from YouTube but I'm really excited so let's get started. What I want to do in this video is like really introduce myself, tell a little bit about myself and then go into why I would like to YouTube and why I would like to make content and yeah how I'm going to put the content what I have like imagined in my head out there on YouTube. That's what I'm going to talk about first and then later on I will tell you like 10 things you really should know about me there are like really random things but then it will give you like a vision of what I'm like and what kind of person I am so yeah let's get started Okay, well, first I would like to introduce myself. I'm Iris, Iris van Sandy. It's a Dutch name, I'm also Dutch. Um, I live in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. Um, it's a little country in Europe. And uh, I'm a student, I go to school here. I study at the University of Applied Sciences and I study communications. So I learn about all kinds of media, social media also. And um, I also learned things about PR and, and HR and more stuff like that. But if you're interested in that, then you should let me know so I can talk about it more. First of all, what I want to do with this YouTube channel is like really show you guys how easy it is to be organized, how to plan your thing, because I am always really busy. I have school to go to from Monday to Friday. Next to that I have two jobs. I work at the warehouse here in Rotterdam and I work as a tutor to help other uh, students. So that's what I do, so you know a little bit about that. Um, so yeah, I'm really busy but I also still have a social life. So I really want to show you guys like really just how easy it is to organize and plan all those things out so you still have like a peace of mind because it it can get a little bit stressed if you have like such a busy life and also for like young moms um young business women young businessmen it's always so busy so with my videos i would really like to inspire other people just to show you how it how you can be organized and how you can plan all your acti activities and how you can clean your house and all these little tips but I also really like to go into like seasonal changes like exam for example it's now becoming winter so you should have like you can like decorate your house but not like ex in an expensive way because I'm also a student not financial problems but I don't have like a lot of money to spend because I'm a student and I have to pay my own fees my, my college my college fees so yeah that's why I'm, but that's what I'm all about and I just really enjoy to do this because I always have like so much so much ideas in my head and I'm always like oh my gosh I should do something with that I should I should do something with that and the other day I was just thinking I was just thinking like, yeah, why not? I can do something with that. So I wrote like all my ideas down and that's why I came here on YouTube. So I can like throw all my ideas in here and let's get started on it. And I'm really excited and hopefully uh, it's excited for you too. Okay, I have wrote 10 things about myself down. They're here in my little notebook. Ah, that's good. Just a little side note, they're, these things are really random and they're like all mixed around and they're not in a order so please don't judge me on this but here we go number one 
I'm really into cleaning. I really like things to be clean, to be hygienic. I really like myself to be hygienic. So I'm always like, I'm always having little wipes with me. And I always have like, I will show you this with me. It's a, it's a disinfect gel for your hands. So your hands will be clean. Um, yeah, and you could also say that I have a little bit of Hosofo, ho, hosophia, hosophobia, hosophobia. So I really don't like it if I'm like drinking from my mug and someone else will drink from it, if you know what I mean. Or like with eating, I really don't like it if someone just takes something from my food or eats from a spoon or, or a fork. I just well, I don't like it. I don't know why. I have it since like I was a little kid and it, it gets better but I'm not there yet. Like I have a boyfriend so everything he touches and he eats and he drinks from it's fine. I, I really don't care about that but like with friends it's still like mm, can you get your own water bottle or your own glass because I really just don't like it. I don't know why and it annoys me. Um, hopefully it doesn't annoy my friends, but yeah, it's there, so that's just out there. Okay, number two I wrote about myself. I am addicted to chocolate, but I really am addicted to chocolate and I like it so much that I, I almost buy um, a chocolate candy bar every day. And most of all I like the Kinder chocolate it's like these little bars um, and there are like 16 of them in a package and I always eat all 16 of them in one I don't know why I'm really bad I'm a bad person but okay I do that I tend to do that and I don't know why but it's, it's so 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 good I like it so much so yeah <laughs> that's another thing you should know about me The third one I wrote down about myself. Ah, yeah. I grew up in a small village in the Netherlands here with my parents. It's close to Eindhoven. Um, and I now live in Rotterdam. So I have like times where I really, really don't like the intensity of the city is so large there's so many people it's always busy you have like you have like so many cultural differences in this city all at once and sometimes i feel like a little bit attacked or i can feel like a little yeah i don't know i just need my cons and then i go to my apartment and i really enjoy my apartment i really enjoy i have a really big bed so I always go lay down in that and just watch Netflix or films and then I will calm myself down and then I'm good. But I'm always like a little bit... Yeah. I don't know my place yet in this big city. And for example, I really don't like uh, cycling here. As you might know, um, all the people in the Netherlands have a bicycle and we do everything on a bicycle. But um, in my old village, I always did everything on my bicycle. I went to the grocery store, I went to school on my bicycle, I went to dancing lessons on my bicycle. But here it's just like, I feel so vulnerable if I like cycle around and yeah, I don't know. I just don't like it and I think you should know about that. Um, the fourth I wrote down about myself is that I don't drink alcohol don't get me wrong I've drank it before I have experienced it but it's just not for me I don't like the taste of beer I don't like the taste of wine and I when I drink it it's it always goes wrong I'm really not a person that should drink alcohol it's not good for my body I immediately feel that my body is telling no 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 you should not do this and I always left like when I drink like two glasses the next day I'm really 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 sick so yeah it's just not for 
for me. Don't get me wrong, I still drink like once in a while I drink a cocktail and that's when I'm on a holiday. So when I'm away in a warm country with palm trees and the sea next to me and then I will drink one cocktail um, maximum a day. So yeah, just because I like the holiday vibe and um, I have like a peace of mind and I don't have a lot of my mind like schoolwork or work or everything like that so that's why I allow myself like you can have one drink it's not too bad for you and I really enjoy cocktails um, I don't enjoy them when they're like too strong and they put too much vodka in them or something like that but in general I just always order a gin tonic because I really enjoy gin tonics but in my normal day life I will never drink alcohol also not on the weekends also not with Christmas mm, I just no it's just not for me I don't like it and my body always tells me like no you should not do this so I will listen to my body okay the what did I the fifth thing I wrote about myself is that I really, 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 really love traveling and I always tend to like look around on the internet for my next destination to go to. Uh, my last this destination was Marrakesh, it, it was with my boyfriend. Um, we just came back like four days ago, so it was really nice. Yeah, I know, I don't look tanned, I never get tanned, I'm really white, I have freckles everywhere, I have freckles on my shoulders and on my back and on my legs, everywhere. It's just, I just don't have any pigments, so I don't get tanned. That's the story of my life, it's sad, I know, but I'm used to it, so it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, I really like traveling and I would like to travel around the world someday. Maybe with my boyfriend, that would be very nice. And yeah, that about traveling. Oh, and the most beautiful country that I visited this far is, I would say, Indonesia. I really enjoyed Indonesia, and I think everyone should go there just to have a taste of the culture there because it's it's so beautiful and phenomenal. And yeah, when you go there, you just feel like, wow. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> Just go there. Okay, next one. The sixth thing I wrote about myself is that I absolutely adore all kinds of animals. I'm really in love with animals and they're all so sweet, and particularly dogs and cats. I have one dog at home with my parents. His name is Baloo, just like, just like um, the bear from the Jungle Book, Baloo. And um, oh my God, I love him so, so, so much. I will see if I can pop in a photo of him, like right here or there or everywhere. And um, yeah, I just love, yeah, I just love dogs, and I can't wait to get a cat or dog myself. And I'm always talking with my boyfriend about what cat we should adopt or what dog we should adopt. And uh, yeah, every I'm that person that when you walk around with her and she sees a dog, she goes crazy, like mad crazy. That's me. So the seventh thing I wrote about myself is that I'm really, really scared of leeches. I don't know if you know what a leech is, it's a blood sucker. Um, I think that's not a word for it. And um, yeah, let me tell a story. I was in Indonesia with my family. No, 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 it was not Indonesia, it was Sri Lanka. I was in Sri Lanka with my family and we were like walking around in like a jungle and it was really beautiful until they told us like be careful because there may be leeches here and immediately when I heard that I was like error 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 I was like no 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 I, I, I don't know I just have such a fear of them and 
then people in front of me get like leeches on their leg and people behind me get like leeches on their leg and I was like oh my god no 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 and I had like a panic attack but a really bad one and I was crying and I was screaming and I was like my heart went just like this. I was so, so scared and I got one on my um, food and on my other food and uh, it was just a nightmare. It was a complete nightmare and I didn't enjoy anything of the walk in the jungle so I will never, never, ever go on a ride or hike or anything like that when they tell me there is a possible chance that there might be leeches because I really hate them. They're so scary and ugh, yeah, that's just my story about leeches. Number eight is that I'm really into the Kardashians. You wouldn't say so if you like knew me because I'm not really that really really girly girly type and I have like high standards and everything like that but I just really enjoy watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians and I follow all of them on Instagram and I don't know they're such an inspiration I think because what they've built they have made a name they've made a brand of their last name Kardashian and I think that's just so incredibly smart and yeah I know that Kim like also got famous because of her porno film and everything around that but yeah I just really enjoy watching them they're so they're so entertaining I don't know why they're so entertaining and they're so sh yeah in a way smart so yeah that's also one thing about me <laughs> nine number nine is that I play Candy Crush and I play it for a long long time now and I will check for you on which level I am because it's not very I'm ashamed of it but I really like it so I will continue playing it okay while I was filming it my camera just stopped so if the position of the camera is a little bit slightly different than that's why. But I was like checking my Instagram. There's a real loud noise outside. It's an ambulance, I think. Or a fireman. I do not know. Oh my god, it sounds really. It's so loud, I don't know if you can hear it. Hopefully it's not loud though. Hopefully it's not good. I hope no one get hurt too, like, intense. But I'm like always curious when I hear like an ambulance or a police or I'm always like, what's, what happened? What's going on? I don't know why. But yeah, the level I'm on with Candy Crush is 1635. And I will show you. <laughs> it's right here with the blue spot. 1600. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 1635. 1635. I don't know how I got there. I really don't know. But I am not ashamed of it. I really like Candy Crush, so I will keep on playing. Haha. <laughs> and if you play it too, just let me know where you are because I'm really curious. Like, how many people like still play it these days? And if you're like, yeah, addicted to it, <laughs> just like me. <laughs> but okay. The last thing, so the tenth thing I wrote about myself is that I really would like to study or like follow a course of interior design. Um, yeah, I've always been into interior design and I think that your home, your home basis is so important because you come home to it every day and you should really feel safe in it 
um, and I just enjoy everything around it. I I enjoy like decorating my own room and decorating the living room and like come home with all these little things that are and enjoyable to watch and enjoyable to use. So yeah, I just love it and. Uh, I know that I'm studying communications right now and I really love that too and I know that I will love working in the communications field but I would just, when I'm finished with my communications studies I would just like to take a course or maybe another study studies in interior design and I'm also just thinking just to start with an uh, interior design course right now next to my studies but I'm still figuring out um, if that is doable with all the things I do next to my studies. So yeah, I would just like to do it and even if it's just for myself so that I just have that knowledge so I can like apply it on my own home so I don't even have to start like a business with it. I just really like interior design and I've always been into it and yeah, it's just a thing that I would like to... Um, that I would like to discover myself and like go deeper into it. So, so yeah, that's what I would really like to do. So that was it. That were like that was an introduction of me, Iris. Why I chose to start this YouTube channel and yeah, ten random things about me. I hope you really enjoyed it and yeah, let me know what you think about like videos about organization, planning, but also like the fun stuff and seasonal changes and I also would like to record a video about um, Christmas gift ideas and, and yeah, wrapping gifts for Christmas and yeah, all that kind of stuff like just the fun things and the fun hacks and um, also a little bit around students because um, Students aren't very high on their financial status, so yeah, that's just me. Hopefully you liked it and I will come with a new video every Wednesday evening. In Europe that's an evening and I think in America that's morning. Let me check for you. Yeah, in America then it will be morning slash afternoon and just like England, Ireland, it will be like around also evening, yeah, yeah. So every Wednesday there will be a new video, um, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see more about me and um, all the content I am going to create on this channel and um, make sure you like this video and leave a comment if you have like any new ideas of what you would like to see and what I can do to inspire all of you and what you thought of this video. Yeah, everything around that I would really like to know and I would really like to get inspired by all of you. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!